See, some people would never like you because your spirit irritate their demons. They can't take your kindness. They can't take your compassion. And they can't take your love. Just off the simple fact that their spirit would not align with your spirit. Their demons won't allow them to. If they not on the same thing you on, and if they not doing the same thing you doing, your spirit is going to irritate their demons every time. So don't feel bad when you walk in the room and they leave. Don't feel bad if you feel like they can't stand you. They only being used by the enemy. Your spirit irritates their demons. Man, John 14. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest. And how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you? And yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works' sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever he shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know, that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments, and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Judas saith unto him, not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us, and not unto the world? Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him. And make our abode with him. Hey, Shalom. Our praises to you, Hal Bashem. You have a shy Bashem Rakakwadash. Much mercy to you since your brothers out there, the true house of David. All you believers and all you true brothers out there that really believe. Um, not doing this for the world, not doing this to be seen, but just doing this because you want our brothers and certain men to repent. And you want to um, teach the Lord in sincerity. Uh, I want to finish this lesson from the other day going into the election and immortality, uh, eternal life. Um, and, but before I get into this lesson, man, I've, I've noticed a lot of things, man. I've noticed like um, the things that us few brothers are teaching. A lot of guys are not even teaching uh, the gospel like that. You know, even guys that say they're teaching new covenant. I don't know what a lot of you guys are doing. A lot of you guys are still in the spirit of camps, bro. On that fucking camp shit. <laughs> they, 
the fucking camp mantra and all that fucking that mantra of the camp and the spirit of camps and guys say they need new bodies and all this camp shit and it's heavy man and and i'm gonna say this too man uh the the election was found without fault um and the lord say um any man that that defiled his body the, the temple you know so this this not a free for all for you to fucking just defile your temple man you have to uh repent you know anything that that is uh that is killing you or something that's of the world you have to uh, repent for that and try to get out of that you know um like i've said the other day the new covenant ain't it just ain't just about saying you a minister of the new covenant like i just see a lot of guys bro a lot of you guys are full of shit <laughs> it's crazy but it's good you guys are teaching and you know one of one of the things too before i get into this lesson uh a lot of guys um that's teaching um what's out there is for the world you see uh me and this other few brothers that are actually that actually have our heart in it and that actually um do this from a sincere place it's really different from what everybody else is teaching that's why I, I, I like the fact that you have so many guys teaching uh, the new covenant. But the, the thing about it is, is like you got, got these guys teaching new covenant, but a lot of guys that's teaching it, they're teaching in a way like they're teaching to the world, like they're of the world and shit. You know, a lot of you guys uh, that, that are teaching the new covenant, but it's beautiful guys is teaching because at the end of the day, what you actually see is the difference between us few brothers and everybody else. Uh, what gets recognized is is the shit of this world or reprobates. They get put on a high pedestal. They get a position in this world. You got to understand that. And the real is always held back. And that's why a lot of guys, they don't see eye to eye with me or us few brothers. They actually hate us. A lot of you guys that teach the new covenant. And that's actually good, too. That's good because when, when people hear us brothers... And then they hear the rest of you fucking clowns that say you're teaching a new covenant or, or you guys in these camps. It is a direct difference uh, between the two. It is very different over here than what everybody else is teaching. You see, everybody else you see is, is heavy, too. <laughs> so we teach. We're only teaching for the few. We're not teaching for everybody or subscribers. You know, and if we, um, you know, we're not teaching to the world like that. We're only teaching a few that could really get it. What we see is a lot of guys, they're teaching very deceitfully in these last days. And a lot of you guys, you're in the flesh. And and that's why we don't have nothing to do with a lot of you guys that's teaching in these camps or that's teaching a new covenant, man. A, a lot of you guys are teaching in a very deceitful, evil way, you see. And guys sneak over here. <laughs> But what's funny about that is um, um, I love it because the ones that are of God, that are truly of God, they're repenting. You know, they're secretly repenting, moving themselves away from the world. And, that, and that's the thing that that we care about, man, that men are repenting, man. The rest of you guys that are that are faking it. We see you guys and the Lexi, you guys, too. You guys, you guys are still in the spirit of fucking camps, bro. It's heavy. <laughs> that ain't what the new covenant is about. And a lot of you guys ain't even pushing uh, repentance. A lot of you guys are in uh, opposition against us few brothers actually teaching the new covenant. I'm going to just put it out there like that. I'm going to just put it out there like that. You guys are, you got a lot of guys been set up as opposition against us brothers that's really been teaching this new covenant and you notice um us brothers over here everything that we do is 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 really different um from the world so i want to go into eternal life real quick because i know there's a lot of you guys you're not even really teaching like that bro it's it's really heavy it is very um heavy 
in these last times what guys um how guys are teaching and guys think they're so smart you know but that's the thing is like us brothers that see we see all you guys that are teaching that way and it's not going to end well for a lot of you guys that think you're outsmarting somebody but we actually see everything and that's why we're not out there and we don't want nothing of this world we teach for certain brothers to actually get it so they can repent to actually notice that they have eternal life to actually know that to to find out that they've always had the lord in them they just had to remember and that's what's happening certain guys are remembering just like a lot of you reprobates you're just teaching a new covenant for cloud and, and fame to make it seem like you're, you're teaching something but a lot of you guys are not sincere teaching a new covenant it's only a few brothers that are really sincere. And that's just the truth. The guys have made the new covenant like it's a wide gate. This is a narrow path and, and you could fake all you want. But if you're narrowly not with the Lord and you say you uh, you say you teach a new covenant and, and your whole thing is trying to be exalted, you're not of God, man. And a lot of you and I'm going to say this, too, before I get into this lesson you brothers that believe in a new covenant, you you have to separate yourself from a lot of these fucking clowns that's teaching in a new covenant. You see, you know, mainly these guys that's that's um, death lessons. You know, we've already um, had a run in with all these guys that we already see where they're at, man. And the thing about um, uh, these guys, these guys are exalt. They've been exalting themselves, and they're not. They're not even really pushing the, the new covenant like that, bro. You have to separate yourself from guys that are of the world. These guys, they they fucking went on a uh, Sakari and got bodied by sick Ari. Now Sakari don't even believe in the Lord like that. <laughs> it's crazy. Sakari say they still under the Levitical priesthood. You know. That shit's dead. That shit's dead, man. You, you, guys get bodied by motherfuckers that's dead. But anyway, let me get into this lesson, man. I just want to say that you have to walk this path narrowly. This ain't about fame or being, being the most popular. This ain't about that. If you're not really repenting, uh, being one-on-one -on -one with the Lord and actually building a relationship with you and the Lord, you're not going to make it. It don't matter how much fame you have in this world. It don't matter who likes you of this world. That's what we're trying to show you that over here. We're trying to show you that in order to be with God, it's not of the world's approval. And the election were already approved by God. So we're figuring out that we're of God. A lot of guys are not really sure of that. They're not fully fucking convicted. You see, <laughs> you know, and the Lord talks about having an understanding heart. All right. A lot of you guys are, are adding things to the new covenant. You're you're taking away things. And a lot of you guys, like I said, you're still in the spirit of camps, bro. <laughs> it is heavy. So certain things you got to watch out for because a lot of guys have crept into this new covenant unaware, not understanding what it's really about. And it's really about you getting with the Lord, not trying to be something of the world. Now, this is Hebrews chapter 10 and 14. And not everybody has the new heart. Not everybody has our repenting or pushing repentance. It's all about what's coming out of a man's mouth. So the election, they were um, perfected in the Lord's doctrine. They were perfected uh, forever. Hebrews 10 and 14, it says, by one offering, he had perfected forever them that are sanctified for by one offering. Do you understand that? It says, by one offering, he had perfected forever them that are sanctified. Who is them? Them that the Lord prayed for. The Lord, he didn't pray for everybody. So one of the things you have to understand is that um, 
the Lord didn't pray for everybody. And you hear this term, the Lord died for the world. He died for our sins. No, the Lord only died for the elect. And a lot of you guys are going to die on the side that are not of power. You're going to die forever. You see, guys been teaching heresies and lies and all that shit. This is it for the wicked. The wicked will be cut off in this time if you're not really of God, bro. You guys in these camps and a lot of you goddamn clowns that's teaching in the new covenant. You got a lot of clowns teaching in the new covenant. But you know what's beautiful about that? It's, it's beautiful that the new covenant is going out. But the truth is, you got to fucking stay away from a lot of these guys teaching the new covenant, man. They think this shit is of, of the world, like on some camp shit. <laughs> it just ain't like the camp. This is a narrow road and you got to separate yourself from these clowns, man. Separate yourself from a lot of people, man. This ain't for the world like that. This is a narrow path. <sighs> Hebrews 10 and 14, for what one offering he had perfected forever, them that are sanctified. And this goes into the election. These men have eternal life. It says, Ralph, the Holy Ghost also is a witness to us. And after that, he has said before. This is the covenant that I will make with them in those days, said the Lord. I will put my laws into their hearts and in their minds. I will write them right. So the law, the Lord didn't write the laws in everybody's heart. And you could tell because guys are of the world. That's why uh, we don't really fuck with too many guys at all. It's a couple guys, a couple. And I could actually count them on my hand. The rest of you guys are pretty much of the world. And, and the majority of the believers, they're not even going to be doing videos or putting their fucking face in the camera. A lot of you guys just want to be fucking seen, man. That's the truth. No, no, no. You want you want you want the validation of the world, but because you don't have the honor and the spirit. You see, <laughs> we have the honor and the spirit. We're actually felt. Like I've said, it seems like we may be insignificant, but we're very significant and people actually know that. It says, this is the covenant that I will make with them in those days, said the Lord. I will put my laws in their hearts and in their minds. I will write them right. The same mind that the Lord had, we have that same mind that he had. The ones that were following the Lord, the 70, and he sent the ones out two and two and he gave them power over all, over all spirits and serpents. That is what the Lord have done. And so when the Lord died, that spirit and that covenant was 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 started back then. So we've been perfected forever. Matter of fact, let me grab this real quick. We've been perfected forever. Through. Uh, through Yahweh Shai. Let me read this real quick. John 14 and 16. And I will pray to father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth from whom the world cannot receive. Right. So if you're the world, we can see you're the world. And, you know, you can't really receive the new covenant like that. Or you can't really receive the spirit. So we really, we we really teach because we know certain brothers are gonna get it and they're gonna fully repent, not play around with this thing. And I'm gonna say this again, man. The Lord said, "Don't defile your temple, or He's going to destroy you." And and I'm gonna leave it at that. You know. You gotta whatever you got issues going on. You gotta fucking. Repent and eliminate that shit or you're not of God, bro. Uh, that's all I'm going to say. And guys that are pushing psh, this camp shit that these camps do. And uh, man, you guys are reprobates pushing that shit. You guys know who you are. I don't I don't even watch you guys. And the only reason I'm speaking on it, because I seen the brother. Uh, Mel Kazadek say something and I really, really, I stay away from all you guys. And you guys in these camps, you know, if I hear certain brothers speak on things, then I, I speak on it. But I know a lot of you guys are not in this sincerely. You're teaching to the world, man. You know, a lot of you guys are of the world in the new covenant 
and in the old. That's why we distance ourselves from a lot of you guys. John 14 and 16. Let me read this again. And I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he might abide with you forever. So just like the elect will perfect it forever. Perfect it. Perfect in the spirit. That means when you teach your house shy, you're going to be perfect to a T to what the Lord was actually teaching. You're going to be teaching. You're going to be moving like that similarly to the, to, to the as best as you can to the Lord in this time. Meaning you might fall in the flesh, but you're not going to be fucking wicked like how guys are. Guys are teaching wicked, bro. They're, they're, they're deceitfully teaching. And we could just we could see that shit, bro. <laughs> it's, it's crazy as well. Like this path is narrow. It is very narrow. You have to separate yourself from guys that's not walking according to your house shy. And if the Lord didn't teach it, guys are not of God. If, if guys said they're teaching new covenant and they're teaching things and doing things the Lord didn't do, if they're pushing things the Lord didn't push then that just means that guys are cursed. They're not of God like that. The Lord gave us the formula to be able to see guys, man. So a lot of guys don't have eternal life. They're just faking like it. They're copycats. They're clones. And a lot of clones been set up too, so they could all bring confusion. Like you got a lot of guys that say they're teaching the new covenant, but at heart, they're not really of it. You see, you have a lot of guys like that. They just want to be they just want to be seen in the world. John 14 and. Um, 17, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. Right. Even guys in the new covenant, they're not really receiving the spirit of truth, let alone these guys in the camps. They don't have really have the spirit of truth because the truth starts with you. How shy. So by guys not even following Moses, guys don't even have the truth, bro. These elders, they just have a doctrine and they know certain things of the Bibles and prophecies. But the scriptures tell you that um, if you don't, um, if you don't, prophecies don't benefit those that actually, that, that don't believe. Prophesying don't help you as if you really don't believe in your house shy, bro. So you have to be able to see through everybody, man. And that's what the new heart gives you. If you actually have the new heart and you actually have eternal life and you actually understand how shy, you can see everybody. Therefore, you're not going to want to be around everybody. You see, this is a one on one path. One can walk down at a time. It's really like that. It's really like that. You got all these false prophets and false brethren out there. A lot of you guys are false prophets and false brethren. You see, that's why we keep a, a low profile. We can see all you snakes out there. <laughs> you see, it's heavy, man. It says, even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it see of him not, neither know of him. Right, guys don't really know the Lord. They don't even have, they're not, guys are not even really teaching the new covenant. They're not even teaching the gospel, bro. They're, they're, they're on some other shit. I just say it like that. <laughs> It says, but you know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Right. So the Lord is in certain of us. You see. So eternal life. Deals with. Um, eternal life. Deals with immortality. And the ones that have immortality, they're going to know Yahweh Shai and they're going to move like Yahweh Shai. That's why Yahweh Shai would do certain things and he would um, go to the mountains. Second Edges 2 and 42. And I, Edges, saw upon my Zion a great people whom I could not number. And they all praise the Lord with songs. Right. So the new song. Is for the ones that are of the new covenant that have the new heart. And this is what the New Testament is about. Explaining Yahweh Shai, explaining his covenant, explaining that new heart. 
It says, And the Mishnah was a young man of a high stature, uh, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marvel greatly. Right? Those crowns, like I read uh, the other day, that goes into uh, conquering. And that is a exalted rank in the spirit. That's why the Lord tells you in John 14 that he will uh, he will make a place for you. Uh, he has a place in the, he has a mansion for you. You see, in my father's house is many mansions. The Lord is talking about having a place in the spirit for you. So those us brothers that are really of power, we're we the Lord has us, bro. There's nothing we have to worry about. You see, we don't have to sell out and make deals with Esau. You see, we don't have to teach false doctrine. We don't have to be false brethren because we're with the Lord. So we will sit here to defend the Lord and his doctrine. All right. That's what the elect are doing. So within the Lord's doctrine, the main point is repenting, bro. That's what this is. So the one that was taller than the rest, that was Yahweh Shai. So by guys not even listening to Moses, this ain't got nothing to do with none of you guys. <laughs> you, you, your elders got your ass fucked up. And you gotta be better watch these guys that's teaching the new covenant like that. All you guys, man, I'm being honest. I mean, I know a lot of you guys can see the bullshit that these guys are doing in the new covenant. And a lot of you guys in the new covenant, man, you need to repent of that shit and separate yourself. Understand that this is a narrow path. This ain't no worldly shit. A lot of guys are going to die. A lot of guys are in trouble of internal damnation, bro. Do you understand what that is? I mean, you're damned eternally. You don't have eternal life. You're damned eternally. That's what the Lord say. So it's in the scriptures. So it's real. A lot of guys are going to be cut off forever. Ain't no coming back nowhere. <laughs> this is it for a lot of you guys, bro. For real. So I asked the angel and he said, sir, what are these? And he answered and said unto me, these be they that have put off the mortal clothes. And that means you're going to put this world off, bro. That's why the Lord said, too, he said that uh, the son of man have no place to rest his head. All right. He wasn't a part of the world out there. He wasn't always trying to be seen like a lot of you guys. You have to do your lessons where people see you, bro. It's heavy. And a lot of you guys are reprobates. He's <laughs> crazy as hell. They put off the mortal clothes. And so that mean that. The ones that put out the mortal clothes, that mortal clothing, they're not going to be honored in this world, bro. All right. Not on some double honor shit. Not on some camp doc, you know, not on some exalted shit. The scripture tell you that um, the wicked uh, is on every side. When the, when the wicked increase, the vilest men are on every side. When the wicked is increased, something like that. But if you're exalted, you're wicked, bro. That's why I like. Guys don't understand. They want to be exalted. They want to say their elders this and they're this, that, and the third. You're wicked right off the back because the elect are going to put that mortal clothing off. They're not going to be of the world. It said, and put on the immortal. You see that? And the brother left a beautiful scripture going into immortality. Immortality is following your how shy, not the world. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Guys are not following uh, the Lord like that. They're following the world. A lot of you guys are of the world teaching. Uh, this is what the brother put up the other day. Uh, Sirach 19 and 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the power is the doctrine of life. The commandments of who? Yahweh Shai. He's the one that's, that gives you eternal life. The Lord said in uh, John 17... And this is life eternal that you know me. So if you actually know the Lord, you're going to be teaching what he taught. <sighs> Guys are exposing themselves by what they're teaching, what they're saying, what they're doing. Um, all these fucking debates. Um, just just being of the world. We, we see that guys are not of God. They just they just want to exalt themselves. 
You got to get away from these guys, these death lessons. That's what that. That's what you should call yourself, and everybody that's affiliated with these guys, man. You, you guys ain't moving right. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. Ecclesiastes uh, 19 and 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the power is a doctrine of life. And they that do things that please the Lord, him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. So you have to be pleasing the Lord. How do you please the Lord? Let's read it. Or are you clowns that really don't have no faith? It's crazy because guys are teaching and really they don't even have any faith. They don't even believe in that, let alone these camps that are under this camp doctrine um, with these elders. They don't have any faith because they're not even listening to Moses, let alone they're not even under the new covenant. Now you have to watch for guys that's in a new covenant. And it's a lot of guys, man. That's teaching new covenant. That's in the that's in the flesh. But it's beautiful that guys are teaching. But this is a narrow path. Guys are forgetting. This is a narrow path. And you got brothers all over the world that are the election. But a lot of you guys in America that's here in Babylon, a lot a few of you brothers are sincere, man. I see it. And I commend brothers that's really sincere. But a lot of you guys, you think that you're fooling somebody. You're not fooling anybody. Hebrews 11 and 6, it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. Right. So you have to be believing in the Lord's covenant. That means moving like it and teaching like the Lord did. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Right. So you believing in the power, you believing in the covenant, you moving it like it. This is what pleased God. It says, for he that cometh to the power must believe that he is. And he that, and he, it says that, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So how do you diligently seek the Lord? How do you diligently seek the Lord? You, you diligently honor what the Lord is talking about. You diligently honor his covenant. And those men that are teaching the Lord, you have to uh, see who's teaching the Lord and doing what the Lord is saying. You have to follow that spirit. And then you follow, you repent unto the Lord. It's all about repenting unto the Lord. That's what we're showing, man, how to get to the Lord. This is a narrow road. This ain't about trying to build you a camp. I'm talking about you got people under you. No, man, you're, you're letting people free to the spirit. That's what you're doing. Well, a lot of you guys are not even in the spirit to free men to the spirit. Verse seven, it says, by faith, Noah warned of God that things not not seen as yet move with fear, prepare the ark, saving his house. And that's what we're doing. We're we're preparing a ark. In this time in the spirit. Which that ark is spiritually almost complete in the, in the true elect is no matter how many of you reprobates trying to bring confusion or whatever you guys are paid off to do to teach false doctrine, the Lord, the elect is being actually sealed through the new spiritual ark that's being prepared in the spirit. That's what's being prepared. Ain't nothing you carnal motherfuckers can do. Carnal motherfuckers. Wisdom of Solomon 15 and 3. For to know thee is perfect righteousness. Yea, to know the power is the root of immortality. Let me let me read that again. Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, 15 and 3. For to know thee is perfect righteousness. Yea, to know thy power is the root of immortality. <sighs> Heavy, man. Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 17. Now, when I consider these things in myself and pondered them in my heart, how that to be allied with wisdom is immortality. So if you're not allied with the wisdom and the wisdom is coming out of the new covenant, the new covenant is where the the fire is. This is where the fire is. So if you're not allied with Yahweh Shai, then... You're not allied with wisdom. You're not immortal. 
and and really this goes over a lot of guys head because a lot of guys they're carnal so there's like they think they're slick well you're slick to guys that don't know any goddamn thing that are blind the blind leading the blind <laughs> matthew 3 and 11 and i indeed baptize you with water to repentance but he that cometh after me is mightier than i this is yahweh shy this is the one mightier he was he was the lord was able to take them demons off of that that big ass uh that guy that had them demons on him and nobody could bound him but the lord was able to bound his ass and that's what the new covenant is doing it's pulling all you demons down he says but he that cometh after me is mightier than i whose shoes i am not worthy to bear he shall baptize you with the holy ghost and with fire whose fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly purge his floor and gather his wheat into his garden right the the wheat are being gathered and you bundle all you bundles of tares. You're in a certain spirit and the few wheat. You know, we're in a certain spirit. Not for the world. It says, and gather to his wheat into his gardener, but he will burn up the child with unquenchable fire. You see that? So everybody everything that's chaff is being actually burnt up. And really, man, I, I really got I got a, I got more. I got another part that I'm going to do. You know, this ain't over. I, I you know, I had to go for time, but. This can be expounded on more and more. The eternal life and immo the immortality. This goes into you. How shy you knowing him, understanding him and doing moving like him and doing what he did. John 17 and three. And this is life eternal that they may know the the only true power and Yahweh Hamashiach whom thou hast sent and this is life eternal that they might know thee all right so eternal life is knowing power is knowing God all right that's what this is Right, a lot of guys are in danger in eternal damnation, bro. John 3 and 15, whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. So you guys in these camps that are not following the new covenant, you don't have eternal life. And a lot of you guys that's playing around in the new covenant, a lot of you guys don't have eternal life. A lot of you guys are of the world. That's the truth. That's that is the truth. John six and fifty four. Whoso eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. And being raised up is in the spirit, not a part of this world, man. Not exalted, but exalted in the spirit. And men know that uh, us few brothers are actually exalted in the spirit. Guys understand that. A lot of people understand that. And all we just urge guys to do is to repent and separate from guys that are of the world. But with that, I'll be back on the next one. I got, I'm a, I got another part to this. It will not stop. You brothers continue to repent and separate yourself from guys that are of the world. And with that, a shalom.